Gardening supplies and garden items or seed starting items at Dollar Tree. Hello everybody, welcome to 7 Savings Garden. Here we talk about gardening, ways to save money and other special events. So I stopped by here at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store and uh, to see what they have for gardening supplies or seed starting supplies. And I found they have quite a few variety and quite a different sizes of uh, containers that you can use for uh, either indoor or in the greenhouse or outside the balcony. Uh, you can use these containers to grow uh, different things. And all of them are a dollar. That's a great a great price for all of them. All of them are a dollar. And you can't go wrong with uh, stuff like this. So like this one here, you can uh, you can see, you can use it as a seed study. And just put um, seed study mix in there and just sprinkle your seeds. And once the seed grow, you can transplant them to a bigger container or to your garden. So they have quite a huge variety of uh, from small containers to medium size. The only thing they don't have here is a big extra large containers, but the containers look really, really good uh, that you can use them for a variety of uh, things that you want to, you want to grow like uh, peppers and, and other tomatoes and that before you transplant them to your garden or to bigger containers, these are some things that you can do. Uh, if you want to also grow like indoor, small indoor plants, you might be able to use some of these containers here to do that. I'm thinking of uh, getting uh, one for uh, the aloe vera that I got last week. A container like this, I think I'm going to get maybe one or a couple of these so I can use the transplant or the aloe vera that I got last last week from Walmart. So maybe uh, you can get, get something like this. Uh, here they also have the knee pads. If you work in the garden sometimes, kneeling down, they have knee pads here. For a dollar, you can use that for when you're gardening around uh, to protect your knees. And they have seed starting mix here for a dollar. I usually make my own seed starting mix. I have a couple of videos. I'll see if I can put the links for to those below. I have a couple of videos to show you how to make your own seed starting mix, better quality seed starting mix. So I'll put the links below or on top uh, so that you can check it out. So I usually make my own uh, seed starting mix so that way I get the best quality of at, at the lowest price possible. So uh, here you have other farm equipment or gardening equipment that you might be able to uh, use in the garden if you have. If you need something like that, you can get it. I already have some of these, so I don't need some of these. But if you need something like these in the garden, they're all a dollar. Great prices. You might be able to uh, get them here. You have tomato ties and other things right here too that you might be able to uh, use it for that. So uh, watch out for the. Uh, we have also like other supports that you can use put on the plants, and they also have these other nice uh, aluminum uh, containers that you can use to to plant something. And on the left they have watering can. So here it's a little nice. Uh, flower or container to you can plant some beautiful small flowers in there and with this one you can also do a lot of different stuff gardening with those so like I said they are great items you can uh, they also have potting soil here uh, multi-purpose potting soil I usually make my own potting soil I have a video for that too to make your own potting soil but if you're not able to do that you can easily buy uh, some Potting soil like this uh, to plant your indoor items. So this is what I got, and uh, I'll see you. Stay tuned for the video coming up. I'll show you how I transplant my uh, aloe vera into and how to take care of aloe vera. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and have a fabulous day.